You see, women are designed specifically for bearing children and carrying things. Oh, dear. Well, I think the sun's gone to his head. Yeah. It's true. I mean, in the wild, you don't have women doing all the hunting, do you? They stay at home with the cubs. Well, what about lionesses, then? Who? Lionesses, they hunt, don't they? <laughs> well, that's only because the bloke lions have sent them, isn't it? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's called delegation. <laughs> it's called nonsense. You can laugh, but it has been scientifically proved. What has? What I'm saying. Which bit? Is that old deep enough for you, Terry, or shall I send out for another show? <laughs> <laughs> it has been scientifically proved that the male of the species is superior to the female. Stronger body, bigger brain. I mean, who do you think invented the wheel? A bloke caveman, or do you think Mrs Caveman put her kids in a crash and started hacking away with a chisel? Of course not. She'd have known her place. Which was? In the cave, washing up. <laughs> Women have been built for the specific purpose of bearing children and carrying wood back from the forest. That's why they're shorter than men, so it's easier to load them up. And if a woman doesn't agree with that, well, then a bloke has a right to trade her in for another one. Oh, come on, Terry, take it easy. Well, girl. why not? I mean, I obviously wasn't satisfied with my first missus. Otherwise, I wouldn't have married Irene, would I? Well, a bit like you, Frank. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Uh, well, no offence, Pat. I'll tell you what, let's, let's, let's change this up. Yeah. Well, it's common sense, isn't it? Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. What? Well, why move on to Peggy, then? I mean, were you satisfied with Pat here or not? It's, it's not as simple as that, you know. Why not? Yeah. Why not? For, for what it's worth, um, I'm very satisfied with that. Exactly. But maybe that's because... Pat learned her lesson when Frank here traded her in. Are you looking for another oh. smack in the mouth? No, Pat. All I'm saying is that now you've discovered your natural place in life, as nature intended, you're probably the perfect partner. I mean, you're a bit over the hill for bearing kids, but you certainly look like you could carry a few logs. If nobody else is going to eat him, I will. Look, come on, we're among friends here. I mean, this is the trouble with my Irene, you see. She's not content with her lot. She's got aspiration. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, there is. If, if, if you never get what you want, it leads to disappointment and resentment at what you have got. I mean, what was it the elf said? Be careful what you wish for, because it may come true. Or was it the leprechaun? What is he talking about? I'm talking about life. The rods that we forge to beat ourselves up with. I mean, like you and Pat, who knows where you'd be now? if you just accepted what you had and hadn't aspired for something else, like Peggy. I, mean, I think you've said enough, Belle. I've heard enough. Um, I think we'll go inside, yeah?